<laughs> All right, you're the last one, big man. Cool. All right, Patrice, you said you had to leave America because people weren't taking to you and you're offending people. And then you came back and now you're, I mean, you're doing fine for yourself. I mean, look at that watch, the necklace. You're doing well and you're good. And you're good. These you know, are all mistakes on my YouTube, by the way. This was, uh, this was, uh, you know, what they call nigger rich. I went out and bought. I was going to use that term, but I. You know how that. I wanted to wait till you broke the ice. With it. I, I, I left, dude, it wasn't. It wasn't the people, you know, because now I, I've actually created a personality niche that, that it's like, I've seen a commercial once when I was doing web junk. Someone would go, we want a guy to come in and do this, this, and this. We, need, we want a Patrice O'Neill type. And, and actually, they were, it was a commercial that my dumb managers at the time sent me a breakdown to, for me to go read a Patrice O'Neill type. type. And it was you. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I was proud of that. That right. means that's the fit. <laughs> and, um, and, and, and what it was is, is, what's the fucking question you said again? What's, what's it? doesn't oh, matter. Oh, when, yeah. when I came back. Yeah. When I came back. When you came back. When I came back, it wasn't, it wasn't the people that I left. It was, the, it was clubs. It was the business. When I came back, I had two or three. Remember those middle of the bus people? Two or three of them that really go, oh, like, I, oh man, I love this guy. Like VH1, who I still love. I love the people over there, man. Sherry and all them. They, 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 Shelly, Shelly Tatro, she's a nice lady. She said, because she used to see me do those, uh, remember the, you know, 1492 and all that. <laughs> and I would go in there and I would go, ugh, like one of those no things. Yeah. Come on in, Patrice. No. <laughs> Give a shit about Slinkies. <laughs> <laughs> and they would just come in, they keep asking me, I go, all right. So I go in, do it. They would love, they go, we're getting this show, man. Ask Patrice if he'll do it. Nothing's going on. Da 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 da. Blah, blah, blah. I go, uh, can I do it the way I want to do it? Uh, yeah. All right. They gave me, they, anything I ever got in my career, somebody said, all right, you, you can, I've never fought. My fight is just with myself and my, what I decide to do, and then someone goes, put him in there. So anything that I got, I got put in there, and once you get put in there, whatever you are, if you're like some smarmy little dude, and people go, I hate him, when you get famous, they'll be like, we're looking for smarmy little dude. So we're looking for loud mouth opinionated big black guy that's i've made that little niche this this big you know what i'm saying before it was didn't exist so i went to england where they respect anything artistic you know what i'm saying you come back here and it was like well all right then we'll try him in that so then i just developed whatever so i'm but still whatever. even when i saw you on letterman this was the guy you didn't go on letterman and dress different or try to talk different you went on like you knew dave for a long time, and, and I did. it seemed to work. And, I, and yeah. again, going back to just having, uh, going back to being ready. Yeah. I was ready for Letterman. Like in this game, you probably notice in, in this business, you never get things that coincide. Like say, if there was this, this is your readiness, and this is your, nah. this is the gig. <laughs> you never get them at the same time. You're either over ready for <laughs> something you should have did five years ago, or you're under ready for something you, you, you're not good enough to have, but they're giving it to you. But your humility and pride and happiness to be there sometimes never fits in with the thing you're getting. Like the HBO special, you know, that's a comic's dream. That's dream. But I've been in the business 13, 14 years by the time I, just, I finally got my special, and I was way past due. Like, I was like, whatever. I got what? How much? All right, good. I'll do it. But it wasn't like, oh, I didn't lose sleep the day of, it was like, oh, HBO special. It was like Letterman, I watched him for years, and I just knew how to be with Letterman. And that's why it was, it was so much fun, dude. That was, and I always respect him, dude, because he put, he put me over. He, yeah, that he dude, if I ever get a chance to say thank you, but they don't, you know, it's basically his, what do they call gatekeepers? Right. His gatekeepers are awful. Meaning by the time you get to him, they're like, Dave's going to do this, Dave's going to do that. Oh, David, David. And you get to Dave, he's like, what's happening, man? <laughs> so your name's Lumumba? What's going on? <laughs> and if I'm, if I'm any less ready, I already had the planned out thing that the, that the 10 producers had got to me. And I'm like, Dave, you were supposed to ask me about uh, my shoe size, and you didn't. 
I wasn't, it didn't fluster me. I just go, oh, okay, you're going to ask this? <laughs> but that dude, if I ever could get to meet him, I'd be like, thanks, man, because he said, he put, he put me over. He went, I like this dude, and I, you know it, you know it. Yeah. When somebody puts you over, and like, what y'all do with Big A? Right. You put them over. <laughs> Big A, I'm going to tell you something. The way he is with O and A and the way he is with, I'm telling you, Big A be like this now. Hey, Patrice, how are you? He don't even be like, woo, woo. He be like, good to see you, buddy. When y'all go, a big A. He's like, that's right, a big A. And you put him over. Right. And you feel good when somebody does that, dude. I never, I always remember Dave for that. If I ever, he put me over. He was like, I'm going to make you look good. You know when somebody's doing that. And you know when somebody can make you look good. They can do it. They have power, man. O and o, 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 P and Anthony, they can make you look good. Or they can make you look really bad if they want. And he made me look good, dude. I loved, I loved him for that. I loved him for doing that for me.